Happy Tuesday, Clearwater Huskies. How's the best first grade ever? I hope you're doing well. Before we get into the lesson today, I want to give a big shout out to all the classes. We've seen such great writing that you deserve a little celebration shout out. So when you hear your class's name, give it a big cheer. We'll start with the Fantastic Felts. Everyone cheer. Next, the Sensational Setons. Let's give them a round of applause for their great writing. Next is the Super Saddlers. Yay! And next we have the Kingly Kill Dolls. And last but not least, the Marvelous Middletons. Woo! We all rock. Well, thank you for letting me do that. Today, we are finishing up our writing that we've done for the past few weeks. You guys have done so many parts to your writing. You've done such a great job. But today is one of the most important parts, and it is called editing. That's what we're learning how to do today. Editing means making important changes so that our writing piece is very polished and is ready for someone to read it because that's why we write so others can read it and we want them to read good pieces. So here we go. Um, we are, as I said, we're doing editing and this is something called an editing checklist. It lets us, um, it helps us keep track and stay focused on certain things that we need to check in our writing. Um, so I want you to notice that there are one, two, three, four parts of this editing checklist. There are four different things we're going to be checking in our writing. Um, and to do that, we're going to read our writing four times. Yes, four times, because good writers check it over and over. But we're not just reading it, or reading it four times for nothing. Each of these um, points is something we are going to check. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is, I should stop us right there. The first thing that we need to do is put me on pause because you need to get your writing, your personal narrative that you've worked so hard on and a pencil. Put me on pause and I will wait for you to come back with those things. Welcome back. Now we're ready. I'm going to model each of these steps and after I'm done, modeling each of these steps. I'm going to stop in between to give you time to do the same thing on your paper. The first part of our editing checklist asks us, did I start each sentence with a capital letter? Well, that's the only thing I'm going to check right now in the writing piece that I have. You will notice with this writing piece, and I'll zoom up, that it has a picture. This is a, a first grader's picture, and you'll understand it when we do some reading. But the only thing I'm going to check in this person's writing, I'm gonna pretend it's my own, but it's a kid's writing. The only thing we're gonna check is the first thing. Does each sentence start with a capital letter? Well, how am I gonna know where a sentence starts? Well, I'll tell you. When we see an end mark, like a period, or an exclamation point, or a question mark, that gives us a clue that this, the next word is the beginning of a new sentence, because these are end marks, end punctuation marks, but I will just call them end marks. When we see these, we'll stop and look if the next um, letter or word is, a, um, is capitalized. Here we go. Oh, this is the very beginning. It's, it has a capital W, that's good, that's one sentence. And this is not an end mark, that's a comma. Um, but yes, anyway, that I should be capitalized because whenever we speak about ourselves, we uh, always capitalize the I. And as you notice, I'm not actually reading the piece, I'm just looking for periods and then the next word or letter. And I say period here. And then I look, well, good, the next letter is capitalized. Okay, I'm looking for the next end mark. Oh, I see one right here, that's a period. 
and I look at the next letter, oh, that is not capitalized. That is a lowercase i. I'm going to, under it, put three lines. Three lines when we're editing tells us that we are um, going to capitalize that letter. So I'll go ahead and write above it, capital I. I'll keep looking for end marks. Here's one. Oh, and good. The next letter is an A. That's the beginning of that sentence. Okay. And then I go through and I see a question mark and nothing left. So I only had to fix one thing. So I'm going to go back to my editing checklist. And it says, um, did I start each sentence with a capital letter? Well, yes, I did because I just fixed it on this paper here. Okay, put me on pause for a moment. So you can do the same thing. You're checking to make sure that each sentence starts with a capital letter. I'll wait to go on to number two until you come back. Welcome back. We're moving on to step two. We're going to check to make sure that the, um, make sure that we, that I, um, at the end of each sentence, had the correct punctuation. Did I end each sentence with correct punctuation? Okay, punctuation means a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point, something like that. So we're gonna, we actually have to read the writing piece for this um, part of the editing because we need to make sure that it has the correct punctuation. When I was two years old, and I'm gonna stop for a moment because you're probably noticing some errors in spelling. Well, even though we see errors, we cannot fix them yet because we can only, as the checklist says, we can only look for look at the end of each sentence to make sure that it has correct punctuation we'll check spelling later okay when i was two years old i went to mcdonald's with my mom and dad there's a period that works that is the end of that sentence i was getting sleepy period that works too that is um, the correct punctuation mark i sat back in my high chair and then I put a fry in my mouth. Good, that's a period, that should be a period. It's the end of the sentence. A few minutes later, I was asleep. Oh, I didn't read that correctly the way it was written. It has a question mark. A few minutes later, I was asleep? That doesn't make any sense. So we need to change that punctuation mark to a period. Please go ahead and put me on pause so that you can go through your paper and check that the end of each sentence has the correct punctuation. Welcome back. Okay, since we did all that checking and we fixed our punctuation, I'm going to mark that as a yes. Next, this says, did I use my word wall and dictionary to spell any tricky words? Well, I don't have a dictionary, but I do have my word wall. And so that's this third time I'm reading it. I'm just checking to make sure that um, any word in my, in my um, writing that is a snap word is spelled correctly. I have a list here of all of our snap words. Here's the first half, the second half is here. And luckily, I have the editing checklist and this word wall in um, the week at a glance so parents can pull that up for you. Okay, so if it is one of our snap words on the word wall, then we have to spell it correctly. So let's go ahead and look. Start at the beginning. When, when, when that does look sound like when, but I don't think when is spelled that way. So I'm going to zoom in and focus. And I'm going to look at my W words. And when is spelled W-H-E-N, not W-E-N. So I need to fix that. And all I do is put one line through it and do W, capital, because it's the beginning of the sentence, W-H-E-N. When I was two years old, oh my goodness, I just noticed this says two. 
but it is not the correct two. That is a snap word. We're looking for the number two. So I look in the T's and I find, oh, it's right here, T-W-O. So I need to fix that. Okay, when I was two years old, I went to McDonald's. I went to McDonald's? Hmm, that doesn't look right to me. Let's see, I think I'm supposed to say went. Do we see that on our list? That's right here, W-E-N-T, went. I went to McDonald's, cross that off, W-E-N-T. Okay, this is kind of tricky because you have to look very closely at all of the, at, um, at all of the um, words and you have to look at your word wall a lot. I would like you to put me on pause right now and I'd like you to spend some time going through and um, making sure that all your tricky words are spelled correctly. Now, I am only talking about the tricky words that are snap words. If there are other tricky words that are on the snap word list, we're not so concerned about that, but try your best at the ones that are on the list. Okay, put me on pause and I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for coming right back. All right, so we are going to look at our checklist again. Okay, here we go. Since we just used our word wall, to spell any tricky words, um, I'm going to check that off. And we're ready for the last part. We're so close. Now we're going, we're reading this part. Did I read all my sentences again to make sure they were complete and made sense? Oh, we need to do that now. I really have to read this carefully and pay attention. You probably noticed that there are a lot more fixes done here. I did a lot of editing when you were doing your editing. So we have to make sure everything sounds okay and fix anything that doesn't. When I was two years old, I went to McDonald's with my mom and dad. That sounds great. I was getting sleepy. I sat back in my high chair and then I put a fry in my mouth. Something doesn't sound right there. And then, not then, I think the word should be then, a temporal word because it's showing order. So I'm going to look here at my T's. It's, it's not the word then, it's the word T-H-E-N right there. So I need to make that fix. Then I put a fry in my mouth. A few minutes late, I was asleep. That doesn't sound right at all. A few minutes late, I was asleep. I think it should be a few minutes later. I was asleep. All right, so that sounds good to me. And um, I can check this off because I reread re my sentences to make sure they were complete and made sense. Wow, that was a lot of work, but well worth it. So I'm going to uh, just finish up and tell you that um, if you wanted to, you could do a rewrite of this, but let me tell you, that is not necessary. That is a lot of work. But if you felt like taking um, a new piece of paper and rewriting your, um, your, uh, your narrative, you could. Don't do it if you don't want to take the time. You've done all the hard work. You've done the editing. And that is fine enough for us. But what I would like you to do for sure is to take that and have yourself video recorded by either your, by a parent or someone else, or maybe you can do it. Um, record yourself reading this personal narrative. All the teachers would love to hear your stories. And isn't that what writing is all about? It's written to be heard, written to be read by others. We look forward to that. Just have that recorded and um, posted uh, the way that your homeroom teacher likes. And again, cheer for you. You guys have done such a great job in writing. I will see you tomorrow.